What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be taking a look at this horrible turd. Yep, the Glock 44. Huh, probably one of the worst guns I've ever purchased. But I do want to take a look at this. This is the 10 round mag that the Glock comes with. And the reason I don't like this gun, I'm gonna tell you right now, it has shot like the CCI mini mags. We're gonna take this, we're gonna shoot this thing here in a minute, but it usually shoots these pretty good. When you go to a bulk box, it sucks. And I don't like that. When I have a 22, the whole reason you buy a 22 is because it's cheap to shoot. Well, not so much with this because you have to buy the more expensive ammo to shoot it reliably. But I seen something on the military arms channel the other day and it got me intrigued. And he was talking about how the Pro Mag had came out with a 15 round magazine for the 44 that was more reliable now here's your glock magazine here's your pro mag magazine you get five more rounds i don't know why glock couldn't figure out how to do that they're both polymer they're both the same size essentially i don't understand why glock can't fit five rounds in this they don't even try but uh i want to know if this thing will actually make the glock 44 run just the bulk pack ammo we already know we'll run you know, mini mags and more expensive stuff. We'll run the cheap stuff with this. We're gonna try both magazines. Um, another thing I don't like about this is how light it is. When they put this polymer slide on it, I did not agree, I, I don't know. I guess they, they had to do that to try to make it work, which they failed in my opinion, but not letting it run bulk ammo. But that's just my opinion. I know there's gonna be some Glock guys out there that's like, oh my God, mine will eat dirt and rocks and shoot it all. But I'm not buying what you're selling. I've seen too many videos where it don't. But um, we're gonna try them both. So right now you can see this is the Glock magazine. You can see it right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put 10 rounds of CCI mini mags in the Glock magazine. We're gonna run 10 rounds through it, show you that it normally runs CCI's just fine. And then we are going to put uh, bulk ammo in it. And again, this is just federal bulk ammo. We're gonna put that in it. We're gonna see if it runs it, which I have big doubts it won't or it will. This one's messed up right out of the box. Good job, CCI. Um, but nonetheless, uh, we're gonna try this out and see what happens. Let me get 10 rounds loaded up and uh, see if this thing will actually run mini mags. All right, guys, first up, uh, CCI mini mags, 10 rounds. Show you again, this is the one stamped Glock. did lock open everything worked just like i expected it would with um the mini mags it, it usually does run you know the better ammo or the higher velocity ammo um out of this now i have other 22s that will run anything most of my 22s will run anything this is really the only fidgety one i have and i want to do a comparison video to this here in just a minute after this video is over this is my next comparison if I'm gonna do it anyway. I'll just dog it out if it don't. But uh, now we're actually just gonna run federal ammo. So let me get 10 rounds loaded up with just bulk ammo and we'll see how it runs. All right, guys, here's just some bulk trash ammo. It is trash ammo, but that's why we buy 22s to shoot trash ammo. Here goes nothing. I don't have high hopes. Right off the bat, <laughs> didn't even chamber it. Uh, nope, still didn't chamber it. Just stove popped it in. We put another round in. We'll try this again. All right, take two. <laughs> All right, went in that time, though. Well, they always make you liars on camera. We're going to put in 10 more rounds of bulk ammo and see if it does that again. This thing has never, I actually think I have a video on my other channel where I was shooting regular ammo through this and it was jamming like crazy. And uh, this thing has never shot bulk ammo. So when you're doing it, you know, live on a camera, not live, but you know, live to me, 
um, on camera and wants to make a ladder out of you. I'm gonna put 10 more rounds and see if it works. All right, one more time. Let's see what happens. All right, well, it's shooting just fine now. For some odd reason, it has never done that before in its life. Uh, maybe it's just getting broke in better, but when I, I haven't really put that many rounds through this. I, I might've put like five magazines, six magazines through it. So maybe 60 rounds, but now all of a sudden it's starting to work, but it did have a weird ejection. I don't know if y'all caught that, but it kind of just threw one out the front, just kind of flipped it out the front where everything seemed to be coming to the side. Uh, that is very strange uh, that this gun is working now. I'm going to put a few more through it just to see if it's a fluke or see if it's going to keep running trash ammo. All right, guys, let the testing continue. Cycling just fine. There we go. There we go. Oddly enough, I dropped the magazine to get that round out and it had started chamber. I guess it chambered the round when I kicked the magazine out. That's uh, that's odd, but all right, let's see what we got. All right, so we did have a stove pipe there, but that's the best this thing has ran since I owned it. Now let's try the 15 round magazine. All right, guys, I do want to show you one thing real quick. Look how small these little levers are to pull down. The Glock definitely has the Pro Mag beat as far as that is. Uh, these are kind of hard to get to, and it's uh, it's way harder to load than the Glock one because it's just a little hard to get into that. But we got it loaded, so let's see how she works. Up first, mini mags. Should run mini mags just fine, I would think, but we're about to find out. Uh, we've already got our first problem. Huh? Well, it's just shut. Well, we'll find out. All right. First problem. It did not want to feed that round. It just kind of pushed it in. You can see it right there. Did not want to feed it. It's not even wanting to push that up. Let's lock it back. Look right there. See how it's stove pipe straight down. Let's see if we can just flip the magazine right here it does not want to straighten that round up it is in there good you can see right there it looks like it's going to hit that almost every time but i think we kind of got straightened up let's try it again this magazine not be the may not be the end all be all after all chambered at that time This ain't looking good for Pro Mag. I'm just saying. It jacked that up. All right, so far we've not had a good success rate with the Pro Mag. Maybe it just doesn't like being fully loaded. Maybe the spring did feel pretty tight. Maybe the spring just needs to be wore in. I don't know. Uh, but that wasn't the best showing until we got past uh, the first four rounds. So let me load some junk in this and see if it likes to eat the junk because it sure didn't like to eat filet mignon. All right, guys, after seeing that load, I can go ahead and tell you, I don't think these first four rounds are gonna be any better than the last four. It, it just didn't hold them straight. Actually, one even tried to fall out the side of the magazine when I was trying to load it. I, I don't know about all that, but we're gonna see, maybe. And it did the same thing again. I don't know. It does not like, you can see right there, look. See how it's turned down? You can see it's turned down. It just, 
I can't, I can't recommend the Pro Mag magazines. There we go. That's how it's probably supposed to look. But you can see that second round down in there is already tilted down. I just, I don't think 15 rounds. That was rattling. Look at the next round. Already facing down. There we go. I think that got it all back situated. I had to like flip the spring three or four times. We'll see if we got all seated. All right, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and call it. I'm not sure this is worth it. You may have to put a few, almost a hundred rounds or so through the Glock mag to get it to start working even remotely reliably. reliably. But um, this this uh, Pro Mag, for one, you can just barely get a hold of these. And it's chilly over here today. It's like 30 some degrees and my hands are cold. And uh, it's very hard to get a hold of this to load 15 rounds when your hands are cold. And you've seen the problems we've had with the with the uh, bullets tilting and it's not correcting that. I'm having to try to flip the the spring to get to correct the bullets and uh, it's not self-correcting. So I'm, I'm struggling with that as well. Now these are not that expensive. I think it was like $12, $15. I can't remember how much, it was not that expensive. Would I buy another one? No, no. I'm just gonna stick with the Glock mags and just, I probably won't even shoot this gun much. Uh, it is running better now with the value pack ammo, but um, it, it never did do that for it. This is the first time it's done it. And like I said, maybe it's getting just now getting broke in good and stuff like that and it's starting to run it a little better, but it's well documented on here that people's had all kinds of problems with bulk ammo out of these pistols and trying to get it run reliably. But today mine seems to be running quite fine with the Glock magazine. With that Pro Mag magazine, I would, my opinion, you can do what you want, but with my experience with that one, with the, you know, couple magazines, three magazines, however many we put through it, um, the bullets just don't angle up like they're supposed to with my magazine. You may buy five of them and they may all be great, but with my my one, uh, it's it's a struggle. It's It's just a struggle, so. I would stay away, or I am going to stay away from the Pro Mag magazines, and I just stick with the Glock ones. But there again, if I was going to do something like that, hang on just a second. Like I started to say, if I was going to do something like that, um, I'd probably buy this FN 502 that I'm fixing to compare to the Glock right now here in a minute. So stay tuned for that video. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. We'll see you next time.